Good evening, family. This is Miss Norma. This is our reading for April the 3rd. Let us pray. Amen. Abba Father, we just want to say thank you and bless your name. I want to thank you, Lord, for keeping all of us throughout the day, for being our strength, for being our courage, for allowing us, Lord, to overcome a setback in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the new job that someone got today. Thank you, Lord, for the good news that someone got today about a health issue. Lord, we ask for your blessing and your healing for someone that got a decision uh, that were told that um, they had to have surgery today. Father, thank you, Lord. Mm, Holy Spirit, you're so good. For an adoption, Lord, that went through for somebody today. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, continue to bless us and heal us and keep us. Lord, be with us in our prayer time and our song for the day that we ask you for. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, the scripture lesson is titled Isaiah 40, verse 31. And it says, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Have you ever seen the expanse of an eagle's wings? Oh, some of, some of them can be almost six feet across when their wings are stretched out. And the Bible says, that we are going to mount up with wings like eagles. Oh, amen. And another thing about an eagle I want to share before I read the story is that the eagle has the ability to fly above the storm. Um, when the, the eagle is in the storm, um, he cups his wings in a manner where the wind pushes him up above the storm. So family, how about cupping our arms and allowing the wind to push up above the storm if you're going through a storm today? Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Waiting is not forever. How often have I read this verse on waiting, which I do not do well, yet this morning it strikes me waiting is not forever. Wings of eagles lift us out of those long, dark delays. Never had we sold a home so quickly in three days. But temporary housing through the roof prices and abnormally low inventories created enormous pressure. With unceasing prayer, we began to search for our new home. Then we thought we had found it. Finally, a true hoarder house. Threading our way through tight paths, we viewed the rooms, the crowded rooms. The layout was perfect, but our offer rejected. I prayed not to be disappointed. Weeks later, we found a second house. The owners, however, wanted a lengthy closing. Our search continued. We felt as weary and tired as the worn-out residences we viewed. Two months into our journey, our realtor called about a house not yet on the market. It was dirty and in need of paint and repairs before we could move in, but it appeared doable. The owner accepted our bid immediately. We thought our waiting was over. Then came the inspector's words. Think hard about this. It seems our house hunting saga would never end. Disappointment is being discouraged or sad because of unmet expectations. However, God says, anyone who trusts 
Anyone who trusts in me will not be disappointed. Isaiah 49, 23. He was teaching me to choose trust instead of disappointment. Three days later, another call. During the two and a half hour drive, we wondered if this trip was really worth the time and the gas. Surprisingly, this beautiful home was more than we ever dreamed or hoped for. But there was already one bid along with a pending open house. Our chances looked slim. With much prayer, we placed our offer. Five long days later, we learned our exhausting hunt was over. God's plan did not disappoint. Are you weary in suspended waiting? Choose not to allow Satan's disappointments to steal God's intended blessings for you. Amen. Amen. Bind yourself to the one who is faithful to his promises. Know that his plans are more abundant than you can imagine. Even though it may not appear so in the moment. You will rise up again on eagle's wings, renewed in God's appointed time. Amen. Amen. Waiting is not forever. Isaiah 40, 31. Our story today was written by Judy and Neil. Amen. Thank you, family, for your time this evening. I pray that you are blessed by this reading. I know I was certainly encouraged. May the Lord continue to keep us and walk us through every situation in our lives. And Lord, sometimes when we have to wait, we thank you for giving us the gift of patience and not grumbling. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Good night, family. This is Miss Norma signing off. And remember that the greatest love of all is the love of Jesus Christ. And by his grace, I will see you later on tomorrow morning. Amen. Good night, family.